If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time, right? <laughs> oh my god. I just, I, here's the thing. I kind of forgot that that happened. Now, y'all will say that if uh, Nekamaru was posi positioned in stuff, situation like that, it would be nothing that I would forget. And you may be right, but I wouldn't ever have put that in together with, like, an, a reason. That makes a lot of sense, but in my head, I'm like, it, again, more things I just shoved off for no reason. a very important question. Well, Taro Taro, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I showed you something so unsightly. Uh, how about it? You can't answer, Taro Taro? Um, um, huh? Uh, huh? That slip just slipped from my mind. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Pervert, it slipped your mind. Yeah, I wouldn't There's ever. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Facts, Mahiru. Uh, um, even so, <laughs> Nagito, say something. Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. <coughs> Give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, hold, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided. Now, now, no matter what, but hasn't been cleared up yet, Chef. It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um. He said, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? Weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging from Kyaku's wounds, it was a thin, edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this... The skewers! Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all. Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Um, he said, try to do it. What a confusing accent. Anyway, we need to focus and think about this. Then edge tool with. The We're gonna do another hangman's gambit, I think. Yes. Okay. The skewers. It might. It might. Oh wait, what? Not what I think then. And that's oh no, I'd be meat skewer. No. Oh, I died. I didn't realize I was that close to death. I shouldn't have hit that button. This way. We'll never give up. Oh, it's because we had an iron. It's an iron skewer. So I was right. I just wasn't specific enough. Those can fly, that's fine. Wrong buttons.
So Hangman's Gambit's gonna be a little bit more difficult because it's not just it's not just a word. It's gonna be it's gonna be a completed like a, a whole phrase. So both times it's been an actual phrase like under the floor, and this time it's now the Iron Skewer. Because in my head, I'm like, oh, it's a skewer, but we're we're being specific, so I gotta be careful of that. The Iron Skewer. Before the park, as Biagio was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terror. I checked the equipment list, and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Hmm, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Taro Taro, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, uh, oh, oh, Alvo Lavi! Alvo Lavi? I wasn't expecting to have an Adam Levine and Avril Levine reference here. Huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island sirens? Just for littering? Also, I was on guard duty. And I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building, which means he obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh, 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 oh! <coughs> <coughs> Finally, we are near the end. A cornered opponent will be surrounded by soul shields. Okay, this is new, and simply will not listen to what you have to say. It will probably pain you to condemn your classmate. But this is a class trial after all. You must argue against your opponent and destroy their soul shields. High speed dispute battle where you beat down a panicked opponent. Excuses and nonsense. That's the bullet time. Uh, sorry. The panic talk action. PTA. We'll shorten it to PTA. During PTA, you must deploy all of your opponent's soul shields so you can deliver your final strike. In order to do that, you must destroy your opponent's remarks while following the tempo of the song. Press Time your button presses with the tempo marker as it moves across the stream. Match the tempo marker by pressing the B button. And you'll be able to lock on to your opponent's remarks. If you keep pressing it, you will be able to lock on to multiple remarks at the same time. However, if you release the B button... In time with the temple marker, it'll intercept the locked remark and destroy it. By destroying remarks, you'll be able to damage soul shields, protecting the opponent, and destroy them. However, if you cannot destroy their remark within the time limit, you'll end up getting hurt. During PTA, you can press start to see the controls. Okay. Four words will be displayed. Each of the four words corresponds with a B button, Y button, X button, and A button. If you press the buttons in the right order, you'll be able to compose the words of your final strike. Please make your argument while searching for the words that will trump your opponent's final argument. Also, if you don't deliver your final strike within the time limit, opponent's soul shield will recover. Okay. What the hell are you even saying, you stupid? He said, um, oh, what the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hit? I guess. We have no choice but to somehow find out for ourselves. The iron skewer is the weapon, and hiding it in the kitchen would be the easiest way to slip by. But Biakia and I checked the kitchen pretty thoroughly before the party started, which means the, was the weapon already hidden somewhere we couldn't find it? Could it have been in an unexpected place? Where would that be? Where would he hide the weapon in the iron skewer? In the storage room? I'm not hiding that thing! He said, I'm not hiding anything! I'm hiding Okay. PTA. Panic talk action. Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! There is Hilton! Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! 
Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Very stilted! Where would the weapon be? Skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone. <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way I'd have <coughs> in a place like that. <laughs> that's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Biaki and I thought. That's why we overlooked it. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now! So if we eat that tasty-looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, bullseye! All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing! Wait, now hold on a second. Time out, time out! What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over! Uh, about that. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here! I'm already eating it! Oh! <laughs> that eats meat! Uh, wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Oh, oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! This, this is bad! Seriously, this is really bad! My, my! There's something inside the meat! Look what came out! Isn't that... Is that... an iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction! Encased in bone and sheathed in meat! It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya! As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong! I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? Facts, Chiaki. He said, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loud mouth fast food eating hits. You, you don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Let's just deal with Nagito later. More importantly, we should we first. Settle this. Once and for all, to do that, we need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make everything clear. Closing arguments. So, we need to do it. Finally, the time has come. My throb is chesting. What? <laughs> okay. Every case has one 
last feature, a closing argument. In this phase, you'll co give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce it in the form of a comic book. This reproduction is merely Hayame's imagination, so there will be gaps here and there. Gaps in the areas where a number of pieces are missing. It is up to you to complete the comic using the truth panels provided. Around three to five truth panels make up one set. Inside one set, there will be correct panels placed among incorrect panels. If you use all the correct panels contained in one set, it will switch to a new set. After that, you will fill up all the holes and you will clear the challenge. I'm pretty sure some of you already noticed, but it'll be difficult to complete with so many gaps. But once you fill it all in, it'll become much simpler. For those who have played the previous game, you might hesitate at first, but it's basically the same concept. Now then, playing and solving closing argument, there is a certain trick. If you move the reticle onto the gaps on each page, then it'll display hints at the top of the screen. The, this type of hint will ask what kind of scene is drawn in the gap. Also, if you move to the reticle onto the truth panel, it'll display a hint as well. The hint explains the scene contained in that panel. Put together the two hints and think carefully. Of course, don't forget that there will be a time limit. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on. So they're not all okay. So they're not all gonna be in the page order that they're supposed to be in. I see how this works now a little bit, or to the middle, for the most part. The Duralumin case. Nice! That was a lot better than I've done before playing games. In the right after the party started. <clears throat> Yakia had us gather in the dining hall at the old building. I'm actually really proud of that. <laughs> he was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness.
But when that happened, Biakia took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggles. Biakia was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Biakia witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byakuya found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed. He had to retrieve that knife, and at that moment... The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward. They came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime, especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? Th this is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> it seems. This is the end. <laughs> Seventeen pieces to this trial. Okay, so again, per the usual, I have people watching this. My both of those zero points are the freaking section of uh the the like the smacking section where I have to smack the thing. 
So you guys cut it out. I cut it out some of this out for you guys, but full transparency, it took me way too long to get to those points. I am really shocked that I only got 19 points in the closing argument section. I kind of disagree with that. Seems a little bit harsh, but I mean, I guess I got a couple wrong, so it does kind of make sense, but I'm surprised that I only got 19. I feel like I did really well to get 19 um if it's 100 per each. But yes. Anyways, yeah. What a crazy start. Um, Y'all got a four-part trial. Sorry. <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. Whoops. I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier. Oh, so you can't pull a, um, Taka. Make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one. <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement. Bye, Terry Teru. I get my man to myself now, buddy. Yas. Uh, don't have to deal with him anymore. Honestly, it was not even, it's more of his perverted attitude that made me more mad, <laughs> to be 100% honest. Correct. But the latter didn't help, or the former didn't help either. That's right. This time, the blackened responsible for killing Byakuya Togami is Teru Teru Hanamura. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Out of all of these people, are you saying a pounce like him was the one who killed Byakuya? Yeah. But what? <laughs> you, you've got it wrong. It was a mistake. I'm, I'm telling you, it was just a mistake. I'm only trying to save you guys. Hey. I was only trying to stop Nagito from murdering one of you. Huh? Trying to stop? What do you mean? I. I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes of the party, and then I heard a wild, weird laughter near the dining hall. And when I peeked over there. I saw him. I saw Nakito in the middle of the cleaning duty pointing a knife under the table. I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what, what he was doing. And I saw him place the irons he bought in the storage room and mess with the air conditioner timers. Plus, I saw him grinning, grinning by himself the whole time. So so I questioned him. When that, when that happened, he... You caught me? Oh, I've been caught. What? But been caught. Hey. What are you doing? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. Huh? <laughs> Taro Taro, just to let you know, it is pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the day beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. Impossible! Well, no matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just... I see. So that's what you think. Well, uh, but that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. What? What are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be of good to use to, to them. I love all the ultimates, and I even admire them for being a symbol of hope. Amazing. That's right. It's in the name of hope. I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart. And that's why <laughs> I don't want to lose against something like killing. I want to prove I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they may face or they face may seem. <laughs> I want everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 no. What are you saying? I don't understand that at all. See? See? Isn't it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you'll become even stronger yourself? Which means the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will have to become, right? I... 
I want to see that brightness. And in order to see it, I'm going to to become everybody's stepping stone. I want to make your hopes shine. It's as simple as that. That's right. I yearn for the powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. You're kidding, right? Don't tell me you're actually serious. Man. Oh, you don't understand. That's fine. I don't really mind. <laughs> I'm just an obsessed fanboy. So it's all right that this love of mine is unrequited. I suppose I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fan fanatic. No way, no way, no you way. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> really? Do you think so? Do you really think that there's something wrong with me? But isn't that what love is? Nagito, what is the meaning of this? Explain to me. I do not understand anything about this story at all. See? You see, if you have a favorite boxer, don't you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? Don't fuck with me! You better not compare us to that. What? Huh? Am I wrong? It's given that the trials are necessary to become strong, and the, the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> For me, humans, killings are as simple a tragedy, but... For worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate their status to an even higher level. Amazing. It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can become that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as everyone's trial. Great. There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation so that your values may ascend to the brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it, you're seriously starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. Are you saying that you basically wanted to commit a murder for fun? It's not the same as killings for fun, but I guess it looked the same in your eyes. I... I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind when Terra Terra discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too. So... Nagita wanted to evolve us in the killing. Plus... It'd be better for him to if the mystery was more complex. Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan to Terra Terra? You'd expect to pique Terra Terra's curiosity, and you look forward to the mystery becoming more complex? Whoa. Well, you're basically right. It is true that I was looking forward to that and all, but that's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. What? That was your doing as well? You're right. I ca just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't get too close to it. Hey, 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 this dude, he's seriously batshit crazy. He's insane. I... That's right. That's why I tried to stop him, you know. However. But why? Why did you kill Byakuya instead? <laughs> I, I don't know. Because Nagito was the one that was supposed to take that knife. That's why I aimed and thrusted the iron skewer up there. But why is Byakuya the one who died? It was supposed to be Nagito, not him. Byakuya probably tried to stop Nagito from grabbing the knife. And then, in place of Nagito... Nope. No. I don't think that's it. Huh? Perhaps... Byakuya was probably trying to protect Nagito. What? What did you say? See? Because Byakuya said so, didn't he? Don't worry. As long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. <laughs> could it could, could it be? In order to keep that proper promise? Mm. As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And that someone was aiming for Nagido. Why? So Byakuya gave his life to protect Nagido? Even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> I see. Byakuya is amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he actually threw his own life away. And yet, I never expected an ending like this. Such despair. <laughs> but we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become stronger by overcoming this despair, right? Wait. Could it be you knew Byakuya would protect you, so you set him up to fail? Like of course not. I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The results that were going to be my fun for later. Just I kidding. But I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Teru. 
What? Why? <laughs> well, because Terra Terra decided to commit his crime. Because he also had strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, he thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. <laughs> I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Terra Terra. What do you mean, confirm? Just stop it already. Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I also empathized with Teru Teru. After all, he wanted to kill me, but he ended up killing Byakia instead, you know? I left him in that confused state. This trial might have been ruined, right? Isn't that right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. And that's why I decided to help him. I told him I don't care if I die. So, you should focus on escaping this island. Right? Those were my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Terra Terra? Man. In the end, my help just wasn't enough. And this turned out to be a bad ending for Terra Terra. <laughs> but you should be proud of yourself. You will not die in Great. vain. You will become the splendid sacrifice for everyone else and so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible! Sacrifice! Shut up! Shut Seriously, up. stop it already! I'm gonna go crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey! Hey, it's really okay for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this. Huh? It's Is it better that we just kill him off? Yeah! Yeah, kill! He said, high school students are so violent these days. But the person who's gonna get killed now isn't Nagito. It's Teru Teru! What's the matter? But you didn't forget, right? Because I told you already at the beginning, right? If the black and loses, a fun punishment awaits oh, them. Wait. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. Th that was, how should I put it? An, an accident, Um, an act of self-defense. Uh, not intentional. Anyway, I feel like it's possible it's not my fault. Hey. It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murder is still a murder. And if you kill someone, that's a murder. Hey. But, but, but. Isn't there anything like sympathy, judgments, extenuating circumstances, or maybe even a probation? Impossible! I don't accept any of those claims. That's... That's... That is not... Hey! hey this is save me, you guys! I was only trying to stop Nagito's... Why you? Be honest. After learning about Nagito's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought that nobody would find out you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's what you thought, right? Wrong. You're wrong! There's no way a person who has no malice would kill someone like that. Uh, in truth, you were just as desperate to kill Nagato and willing to sacrifice everybody else to survive, right? And just be honest already, at least in the end. No, that is... To Teru Teru. Why? If only you didn't try and kill Nagato, Byakuya would still be alive. Why did you try and commit murder? Answer me, Teru Teru! Uh, I just... I wanted to go home. I needed to go back home no matter what! Because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. She's waiting all by herself for the day that I graduate Hope Peace Academy and come home. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. <laughs> I know that already. I, I know that already. I, I promised. I promised her that I'd become a full-fledged cook and save the Hunter Mura Diner. Diner Mama is waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. That's why I need to go home! Terra Taru. <laughs> but, if we were told our memories were stolen and then several years had passed since our first day, hey. then what happened to the Hanamuru Diner? 
What happened to my mom who's still waiting for me? So you did believe what Monokuma said. Damn it. You were saying all along, it's okay, I'll never believe something like this. So why? I, I still don't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. It it has to be a lie. That's why I wanted to go home. I wanted to go home and confirm it. I wanted to make sure that it was all just a lie. I wanted to make sure that I still have a place to call home. Uh, Terra Terra, you. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not that Terra Terra didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. And that's why he kept denying it. Because he believed it and he needed to deny it. Damn it. If only I now knew how he felt. Something like this would have never happened. I, I wanted to confirm by any means necessary and I had to do something. That's when I heard Nagito's plan. I found out he was going to kill someone and I left him alone. If I left him alone. And that's why. That's why. Fine, fine. So, you wanted the first kill. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, you guys. It doesn't mean I wanted to sacrifice any of you, but it was a whole thing I could do. And if I ended up killing Byakuya instead of Nagito... I think uh, I I'm see. the one who went crazy. Terra Terra. <laughs> I see, I see. Interesting, but... As far as motives to kill are concerned, wanting to see your mom is so boring. So... It seems there's a no point in basking in the afterglow. So let's hurry up and begin the punishment. Jeez, get out of my way. Ugh. Well now. There, now that little annoying sister has been dealt with, get back to business. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on a second. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but at least... Now then, I prepared I, yeah. a very special punishment. For Tana or Teru Teru Hanamura, the ultimate cook. Hey, hey! Call me chef. No, wait, that's not what I. Uh, please! Please, please. Please tell me at least what happened to the Hanamura diner to Mama. Let's give it everything we've got! <coughs> He's not gonna say a word. Time. Lies! I won't believe this! I won't believe it. How much more in depth did they make the punishments? Deep fried Terra Teru? Oh no! Oh, it's gonna be like hot oil. Oh no, it's like rockets, okay. Oh no, the rockets have- okay. We're just watching him boil up on the monitor. Extreme! Yeah! <sighs> the adrenaline is rushing through me. Ted <laughs> Dare! Gosh, are you fucking serious right now? How cruel. Why? Why did you do something so cruel? Uh, didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever badmouthed read it in front of the class. No. When that happens, only then do you think about how it feels to be badmouthed. The same applies what to murder. 
You, you're the one who drove him to do it. Oh, so cool. This is so nice. cool. Well, it can't be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't let that slide. What do you mean? <coughs> when you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? However, there's a catch. Don't tell me what the catch is. Hmm, figured it out yet? That's right. You guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. You guys want to know, right? You want to know your school memories. You want to know. You want your school memories returned to you, right? Then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and murder for your memories. Well, why didn't you tell Tara Tara about his mom's diner? He had the right to know. Yeah, us too. We all have the right to know. Hurry up and tell us. What do you mean earlier when you said your school memories? <laughs> oh yeah, I did promise you to re promise to return your memories after the killing had began. Oh, you're going to do it? But telling them is kind of... <laughs> but if I never told you guys that I'd tell you right away... What? Not fair. Of course! I'll keep my promise and return your memories someday. But it's not clear when that someday will actually be. <laughs> I must excuse myself well. Th there's something that I need to do. Huh? What the heck? S so it's not cruel. fair. They both ran away. Then... Monokuma had wrapped his around had us wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid. Teru Teru, you stupid. Such despair. An ending like that is just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair, but Still, at times like this, <laughs> as the symbols of a hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. You. You. You're. You, why you're smiling? Crap. How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on. I'm just sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. Ultimates who inspire hope. You s and your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy with. We've lost such a talented individual. Don't, fuck with me. Don't go saying creepy crap like that. I'll kill you. <laughs> Please. Kill me anytime. What? If you hate me, I don't mind you killing me at all. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. You. How messed up are you? Hey. However... If you're going to kill me, just make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killers? <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal, after all. If you're students of Hope's Peaks Academy, if you are the symbols of Hope who can possess the chosen talents, Great. then it shouldn't matter to you guys if, all, if I cooperate with the killer, right? Mm, declaring that so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Hey! Maybe that was his plan like all along. Uh, since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better uh, for us not to kill him. Well, I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Byakuya, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. This is exciting! Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you. One after another. Oh, just kidding. You piss me off. Hey, can I punch ya? I just won't be satisfied till I punch ya. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's just going to be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. What? Huh? Even Hajime hates me now? How unfortunate. That stings. I felt you and I were quite similar after all. What is that? Isn't that right? You hold a special feeling towards Hope Speak Academy, just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. But how can you say that you're not? Marakuma said it himself. We don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> no. If it's true nature that our school memories were stolen, then it's the same as not knowing our true selves too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent even is. Akane, please feel free to punch him. <laughs> Will do! Wait! Hold on. Stop. Stop this at once. 
Nothing will come from fighting like this. There, there's something else we must do. Huh? Something else? Please listen. We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There's something more important that we must do. Let me ask. Which is? Do our best. You fiend. Well? We must first leave here and get some rest. Then we shall work together and do our best. Do our best so we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. That is what I believe we must do right I now. Am sorry. If only I was better motivational speaker. No. That really touched my heart. You're totally right. We need to do the what we need to do right now is do our best. If we do our best, we're well, definitely gonna pay off, right? Yes. Yes, that's right. Like But what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know, but we must do our best at it. Jeez, Jeez I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of a moron? Well? It's fine if you, if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. Right? Let's do our best. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. But... It's scary, but doing our best is our only option. That's There's no way we can... I'm doing what Nagito said. I'm gonna do it! Alright, I don't know what you're talking about, but let's do our best for now. Fine. Very well. Even if we're not able to change the future, I guess I should at least change my tomorrow. <laughs> Damn fiend! I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul, and fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together to leave this island. Do our best, and keep using that phrase over and over again. Even though we know the they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words, regardless, we still said it, and continued to say it over and over again without stopping. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Byakuya and Teru Teru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no reason. After not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. And there, just like before... There it was, a night sky brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. That sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I must be. I might be able to go home. That's right. I'm definitely going to go home. Hmm? That's when it happened. As I stared up at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of situation. And then... While I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen in that cessation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? Nineteen days, seven hours and forty seconds. Or forty minutes and twenty seconds. Chapter 1 end. <coughs> 14 students left. To be continued. Hopefully I can save. Ted Man's Party. Finish chapter 1. Obtained a present, which I don't know what that is. The wooden stick. Would you like to save? Yes, we can. And in the next episode, we'll continue on to hopefully the second chapter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, glad I got my man by myself now. Um, that's a win. But I can't talk to him too much. We have to figure out everybody else. But hey, I don't have to talk to Terra Terra anymore, so that's a plus. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!